good morning. I just did my whole makeup routine in silence. That's when you know it's uh, there's a lot going on in the head. Today is my first day again <laughs> of chemotherapy. Today I'm just receiving one drug. I'm actually doing immunotherapy. I'm doing brentuximab and nivolumab, but because it's my first time I'm just doing those two, we're doing them one week apart. So today I'm just doing brentuximab. I'm at a new clinic, which makes me very nervous because I loved my clinic so much last time. So it's gonna be new and different but also not new and different because this isn't my first time through chemo which the clinic keeps forgetting the amount of times i've had to be like i've done this before i don't need to take a class i don't need an explanation like i want someone to just put it in bold letters under my name like isn't her first time i'm just hoping and praying that everything goes okay today i responded well to brentuximab last time so we're hoping that these four rounds work i'm not really feeling much right now the good thing is that they said i won't have many side effects from the immunotherapy we will see i've been taking glutamine to help with my neuropathy I should probably take it this morning because we don't want any neuropathy that is not fun but yeah i'll be bringing you along with vibes are a little low today but at least I'm done with the IVF thing. Like that was truly insanity. I've never been in so much pain in my whole life. <laughs> it was a little crazy. And I just stopped filming towards the end because I was like angry and just wanted to feel better, move on. <laughs> but yeah, what time is it? I probably need to go. I need to go get some coffee because that, that would be good for the soul. Not me putting on a cute fit and everything to go to chemo. You know, look good, feel good is a real thing. And I got a stunt on him and be like, yeah, I have cancer, but I still look good. <laughs> oh man. That's that is a crazy sentence. Somebody put that on a t-shirt. Okay, I think that's all we're doing for our makeup today. Oh my god, this is kind of surreal. I just left my apartment and I don't think it's snowing yet, but there's literally a snowplow in front of me, which is just so funny. Port oh my god, there's another snowplow right there. Just Portland things is everyone's like amping up for this major snowstorm, which may or may not come, but at least they're prepping because that's always our issue is that no one's ready, so the whole city shuts down when it's snowy. Okay, I'm just about to run into my favorite coffee shop to get coffee and snacks before today. The most surreal thing is on my last day of chemo last time, February 12th, 2021, it was snowing and now it's snowing today. And like, if you know Portland, we don't get snow like ever. It's, you know, once in a blue moon, like maybe one day a year where we actually get snow. Kind of crazy. I don't kiss babies on the lips though. Literally the only person who can make me cackle before chemo is Hannah Burner. I've been catching up on Burner Phone because Giggly Squad only comes out once a week, but it is just my prime thing to listen to right now. Okay, my favorite coffee place was closed. I'm telling you, the whole city shuts down, like even preemptively. So I'm getting Starbucks. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Hi, can I do a grande latte with oat milk and one pump of simple syrup? I'll also do a sausage, cheddar, and egg sandwich. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm grub too because I don't know how long I'm about to be in this appointment. It's only one drug, but they said a few hours. My dad just called me and asked me what activities he should bring. Is my company not enough? <laughs> I'm actually dying. I pull up to the window and the girl's like, hey, like your sandwich will be ready in just a minute. So she starts like small talking me because you know, we're just sitting there like twiddling our fingers. She's like, so what are you up to today? And I'm like, I just, I can't say, oh, I'm going to chemotherapy. Oh, I'm going to the cancer clinic to <laughs> pump my veins with some poison. So I just said, oh, nothing. And then I started talking about the weather. Like, I'm so much better at small talk than that. It actually is snowing right now. Oh my God. I see the little snowflakes starting to fall. I was like, oh, nothing. 
So we have like 10 minutes before I have to head to the clinic and I just wanted to go over my treatment plan a little bit because I know that some people are probably curious and I've been told multiple things for what my treatment was gonna be. It has changed. Originally, I thought I'd be doing ice and then a stem cell transplant, which ice is super intense chemo. Then my oncologist, my specialist, and my stem cell transplant doctor talked and were like, I don't think she needs ice. Let's do two immunotherapy drugs, which made me a little bit nervous at first because I'm like, I just want to get the cancer out of my body as soon as possible. They clarified with me that it's not any less effective. It's just easier on your body. And there's been so many developments with immunotherapies lately with lymphoma. I've already done brentuximab and had a really good reaction from it for 12 weeks. Um, each one will be three weeks apart. I'm doing brantuximab and nuvolumab. I'm just praying to whatever out there that it just works and that I can go into my stem cell transplant looking like I'm cancer free. I'm never going to be able to use the cancer free term again because it's just like they actually don't know with lymphoma whether it's 100% gone. Like there's no way to show that there's not one cancer cell in your body that's pretty much where we're at the next 12 weeks which is a long time like last time my chemo was every other week this time it's three weeks apart so i'm going to need to keep myself busy i've already planned a couple little things if all goes well i will be in the middle of my stem cell transplant on my birthday which just birthdays are just ruined for me but maybe because they call it a rebirth post or stem cell transplant i'll like throw a big party then i mean once my immune system's back to normal that's also another thing with the immunotherapy i'm not gonna lose my hair i won't have like any side effects besides like you know minimal fatigue whatever possible neuropathy there might be no like side effects which is just crazy until the stem cell transplant where they'll pump me six days with like the most intense chemo ever i'll lose my hair all the things be hospitalized have zero immune system but until then i'm kind of chilling my immune system should stay pretty strong i do want to ask my doctor about that about how like active I can be. I know COVID is surging right now through the Pacific Northwest, so I also have to be conscious of that because it's not even the getting COVID, it is the way it could impact my treatment plan. Yeah, can you believe two years later we're still dealing with COVID, but at least my dad gets to come with me today. You're probably like, let's just get to it already, Cam. I just wanted to give you a little info on where I'm at and what the next few months are gonna look like. What are you up to today? Oh, nothing. Okay, I'll see you when I'm at the, the clinic. I hope it goes well, oh my god. Literally can't bring this man anywhere. He just sneezed in the infusion room. No, and I didn't contain it. Mm. Mm. What's inside the heart? My empty soul. You need to ask me a Shiv question. Oh, Shivani feeling. No, no, Shiv would ask how are you feeling scale of one to ten. How are you feeling, Kim? Scale of one to ten. Yeah, you're doing good. What's your hunger scale? Zero. Can you smoke weed in here? Can you imagine just ripping out a joint? They should just like have it going like an incense. Dab me up. How are you feeling? Is this weird? No. Or is this what you expected? It's disappointing that it's not nicer. It's tragic. No, they're all the same. They have the same designer. There's a thing up there. Are you, uh, do you have glutamine? Yeah. Did you buy new? Yeah. Oh. No neuropathy here. Okay, nice.
be outside with.